Now that we're motivated to start spring cleaning and we've picked our six areas, the first one I'm gonna tackle with you is one I need to do. That's cleaning and organizing my bathroom cabinets and dealing with all of my cosmetics, medications, and toiletries. You can find a ton of valuable free spring cleaning extras at the cleanmyspace.com community to aid you in this process, including printables and bonus videos accessible to community members. This cleaning task is one that rarely, if ever, gets tackled, and all things considered, it's pretty easy, so I think it's a good one to start with. Head into your bathroom and take with you a zippered bag for expired medications, a recycling bin for empty bottles, a donation bag, and a garbage bag for anything that has to go. Your toiletries and cosmetics don't last forever, and if you're anything like me, you have a tendency to collect a number of them over the year, you know, they go on sale, they smell good, your friend tells you about them, so you stock up. Over time, toiletries and cosmetics degrade. They become exposed to light, heat, moisture, and bacteria. And this makes them, well, less desirable and less effective. Further to that, if you haven't used something in six months, are you really gonna use it again? For each item you touch in your bathroom during this task, you are going to allot yourself one second to use the six month test as a barometer for everything. If you haven't touched it in six months, place the item in a donation pile or a garbage pile. Any longer than one second and you're gonna dawdle and fire up the debating society in your head. First, let's go to the ever fascinating medicine cabinet, or in my case, medicine bin. Start by taking everything out. Since we can't exactly donate medicine, just take a look at all prescriptions and over-the-counter products you have and check for expiry dates. If they are expired, then place them in the zippered bag and either drop them off at your local pharmacy for safe disposal or find out how to safely dispose of them based on your community's requirements. Flushing medication down the toilet or down the sink can contaminate the water. And that's not cool. Once you've sorted everything, wipe the inside of your medicine cabinet or container and replace the items neatly. You can even think about any items you need to pick up the next time you go to the drugstore. Some people write expiration dates right on the bottle or box to make it easier throughout the year with a permanent marker. Now we'll tackle that vast wasteland under the sink. So I'm sorting through each bottle of shampoo, bar of soap, deodorant, and skincare product. I'm literally spending one second to decide whether I still use these items or not. Anything I don't use, I'm then going to check for expiry and decide if I should donate it or see if a friend can use it. Shelters would gladly take any items you don't want so long as they're not expired. I've also got a super comprehensive guide up at the cleanmyspace.com community which outlines the shelf life for all cosmetics and toiletries. It's so helpful. So make sure you head on over there after this video to get your copy. This is also the time to replace your toothbrush, clean your razor blade and your loofah or replace them all together. To determine if a product is still good, check to see if the contents have changed color or consistency or if they smell different, in which case it needs to be disposed of. Now, if that's the case, you can consolidate all product into one container. Throw away that one singular container and then recycle the rest. Now, the reason for this is because it's not good to dump a ton of product down the sink. Wipe the area well, which you use to store the bottles, perhaps use shelf liners or storage product to neaten up the look. I'm using a double stacked Lazy Susan and then replace all of your items neatly. I use these little drawers to organize my makeup. Here I'm looking at each makeup item, brush and product and determining if I still use it or if I still want it. I don't recommend donating cosmetic items, although you can offer them to a friend if you simply don't like a color or use that product anymore. Once sorted, check the lifespan guide to figure out if it's time to dispose of them or not. If you're going to dispose it, remove the cosmetic from the container or pan, toss that, and then recycle the plastic and metal parts. Now that everything's sorted, I take my makeup storage solution and spray it with all-purpose cleaner and dry it. Finally, I'll replace all of my makeup neatly. 
I store my nail polish bottles on this shelf and I move my seasonal colors to the back or front, depending on the time of year. So many of you ask, so I'll tell you. I got this cabinet at an antique shop. So to start, look at each bottle. I find that if there's a third or less polish left, it's harder to get the nail polish out and I usually end up tossing those bottles. You can also open the bottle up and see if the nail polish is chunky or thick. Now if you like the color, you can use some nail polish thinner to revive it or you can just toss it. Also, if you don't like a color anymore, you can just give it away. The same goes for nail items. If it is something that's broken or almost empty, it's time to let it go. For example, if your nail file is practically busted, get a new one and get rid of this one. Also, give your storage container a wipe down and then replace your items neatly. I store my hair tools in a drawer and my hair accessories also in a drawer. I encourage you to carve out a space in your room or bathroom for your hair tools. Whether it's a basket, a bin, or a drawer, you'll need a dedicated space for these items if you want to keep some semblance of organization. For hair tools, sort through them and get rid of anything you no longer use, say a curling iron that no longer suits your style, which of course can be donated. Do the same thing for hair accessories. Remember to take one second to make that keep or not decision, then decide what you're doing with it after. If you are keeping the items but need to clean them, I've got videos for that topic and I'll link them down below. When that's all said and done, wipe out your storage area for the tools and again, replace them neatly. Once this is done, you'll probably have, oh, I don't know, 20 to 50% more space in your bathroom. And really with the one second, six month rule, you'll be firing through these tasks, I promise. It will go quicker than you think and you'll be surprised at how many extra little things take up valuable real estate in your small bathroom. I also find this exercise to be extremely valuable as an experience to log for future shopping trips. That way, when you're about to buy something, you can quickly run that item through your filter and ask yourself, will I need to get rid of this next time I do a spring cleaning? If so, then consider not purchasing the item and do more with less. Save money and save space. Also, be sure to check out my exclusive free cosmetics and toiletries expiration guide, available only at cleanmyspace.com. Click the link in the description box below. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you like this video and click this button to subscribe to Clean My Space. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.